Lesson 1-10. Use factor puzzles to solve proportion problems. Tommy saved $20 while Alex saved $35. When Tommy has saved $24, how much will Alex have saved? This is a proportion problem. To solve this problem, we're actually going to use our factor puzzles. So from the problem, we know that Tommy has saved $20 and Alex saved $35. Here you can see where I labeled one column, Tommy, and the other column, Alex. We also know that Tommy has now saved $24. So underneath Tommy's column, I'm going to write 24. The question is, how much will Alex have when Tommy has saved $24. To solve this, I'm just going to use my factor puzzle strategy. First, I'm going to look at 20 and 35. I'm going to think to myself what number goes into 20 and 35. Let's try 5. If I put a 5 on one side, I have to carry it over to the other. Oh wait, I want to erase that line. Yeah, okay. I know 5 goes into 20 four times. And if, I've, if I have a 4 at the top, I'm going to carry it down. I know 5 goes into 35 seven times and if I have a seven at the top I'm going to carry it straight down. Over here I can see that four goes into twenty-four six times. I'm going to bring my six straight across. Now I can figure out my missing factor. Seven times 6 is 42. So I know that when Tommy has saved $24, Alex will have $42. I can take my factor puzzle and turn it into a ratio table. So, I'm going to do that. Here I've set up a ratio table. Right here, where the blue circles are, I'm going to write the basic ratio. So, we'll do that in a minute. But first, I'm going to write my values. My first row is going to have 20 and 35. We can label these as Tommy and Alex. I also know another row could be 24 and 42. Remember, with the ratio table, we're going to have a constant rate on each side. Here I can see that we're increasing by 4 on Tommy's side and by 7 on Alex's side. Which, if I go back to my factor puzzle, right here on the top, I can see Tommy has 4 and Alex has seven. So we can look right here to find our basic ratio. 
So I'm going to fill that in. So, based off of that, I can continue counting by 4. 24 plus 4 is 28. Add another 4, which gives me 32. And I can keep filling it out all the way to the bottom. Each time, I'm just adding 4 on Tommy's side. Over here on Alex's side, I'm going to be counting by 7s. Because his constant rate is 7. All right, so now I have used my factor puzzle to fill out my ratio table. Today, you learned how to solve proportion problems using factor puzzles.